thousand XP for that. And oh, we got a legendary blunt weapon. Let's go. You are my Medjai now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. Oh! Welcome back to another AC Origins episode, and today the main goal is to finish the Hyena quest. The future episodes are going to have more quest heavy content just because they give the most XP and I do want to get to the max level as soon as possible. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, feel free to drop a like, feel free to subscribe so you know when the next video comes out. But I really, really do appreciate all the support and let's dive right in. Right boys, we are going for the Outsider. I'm only level 19, but that's only one level below him, so we should be able to take him out. Unless he calls for backup, then I have no idea what, what to do at that point. <laughs> There he is, our first Phylic fight. Now, I really don't know what to expect, so we do want to keep our distance because he could probably take out half my health in one hit, especially because he's one level above me. So, we're probably going to go with a hit and run method just because we really don't want to face this guy twice. And we're going to use the fire bombs a lot just because that does help create space because it stops him in his tracks. But hopefully this goes well. That's right. No! That is exactly why we try to keep our distance because he does so much damage each hit. So we're gonna stick with the plan, keep shooting him with arrows, throwing the fire bombs. I mean, the fire bombs are doing all the work right now. I know this hit and run tactic is a little boring, but. It is our first Phylic fight and we're not doing too bad and look at this, his health is less than half right now. So we are making great progress and hopefully we can kill him without dying. We got this, we can do this. No. We did it. There it is. Wow, we actually did it. Confirm the kill. And that is the Outsider. And we got a level 20 legendary sword. Let's check it out. 51 quality. Health on kill also. With critical hit rate. Okay, this is going to be my second weapon. I'm probably going to replace the scepter. Just so I have a heavy weapon, as well as a Bike of Siwa. fast weapon. Styling himself as a Magi. All right, so our goal right now is to do the hyena, and I'm sure we're gonna pass by some camp statues along the way, so we're gonna do that as well. But the real goal, finish the hyena. We're trying to level up as fast as possible right now. Oh, this looks like a new area, too. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god, there's like... Oh yeah, we're here at Giza, finally. Guys, 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 we found a campsite, but what's missing is a campfire. So we decided to give them one. I don't know if it was the best idea just because there's so many of them, and it gets a little hectic when fighting this many people because when you try to dodge, you might dodge into someone else's hit, and you got like 10 people shooting arrows at you. But hopefully we can get something out of it, right? And also we get the combat experience, which is very important. Because as you can see for the first Phylic fight, I could have done better. 
And what kind of throw was that? You think after practicing throwing like 800 of them at the Violet fight, I'd be a little better? Uh oh. This a golden question mark. Now what can you tell me? Daina is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name is Khaliset. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man, retrieve my horse, and I'll give you what you came for. Ah, how you found yourself in Apollodorus' company escapes me. You cannot trust this sand in your hand. What can you tell me of the hyena? This Haliset girl? <laughs> we speak one word. And we are hyena food. So right now we just want to locate all the guards because we don't want to rush in. Otherwise we might get taken down by one of them, especially if we don't know where they are. And if you die here, you pretty much respawn and all the guards are back that you killed. So we really don't want to go through that. But we want to take out one captain, one commander, and loot two treasures to finish the location. But before we can do that, we have to assassinate everyone on the perimeter just so we don't get caught because they might call for backup as well. And it's just so satisfying to get that headshot with the bow because it makes that clean noise that shows that you freaking killed him. And we also got our two helpers helping us, so hopefully it makes it a little easier having a three on one when we assassinate people. Like, look at this guy. Like, he has no idea what to do right now. Like, he... There's two people with spears, and a guy with a freaking blood weapon. Like, come on. There he is, I think that's the commander, which is the stronger one, and we definitely gotta keep our distance because he's three levels higher, so we're probably just gonna take out these guards first, just so they can't help him out, and make the fight a lot easier. And the smoke bombs, like, I never use those too often, but those actually can take out a lot of people, because they can't see you while you're in it, and anyone around you just falls to the ground. Alright, alright, here we go, here we go. This is the battle. This wall's right between us, and we have our two helpers, so this should 
work out. Actually, where's the other helper? I think he died. I didn't even know that was possible. And when you use a sleep dart on someone this high level, um, I don't think they fall asleep really. They kind of just stand there for like one second and then it wears off. So you can't even assassinate them, which makes it a lot harder. But this wall is kind of working out. Yup, yeah, no, never mind, never mind. We definitely have to keep our distance because we killed almost everyone already and we have to restart this. I mean, that'd be so sad. Alright, I think this is it. This is where it ends. I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, we have to get out of here. Alright, we just keep our distance. And then now, he doesn't know where we are. And I just swung at the air. And there it is. We just finished off the commander, I believe. Yes, it is the commander, so that is the stronger one. Three levels above me, though. That is a lot, especially in this game. There he is, the final captain, and after that we have to find the last treasure, but first we'll take out these guys and then we'll head over and assassinate the captain. Shouldn't be too difficult, especially after taking out the commander already. And he's already going to the back of the base, which is so much better so no one can see us. Alright, here we go. We're about to make contact. That was easy enough. Alright, let's go look for that final treasure. There we go, finally completed the location. And we're level 20. horse. He neglected to tell me his customers were bandits. The 
hyena lives in a cavern, just over those hills. Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica, precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Okay, so we found out where the hyena is, and before we do that, we're just gonna grab this sink point on the top of the pyramid. This should be one of the best sink points, just because I think it is one of the highest points in the game, and it's also on the cover, so most people have probably seen it, but to see it actually in-game is pretty sick. And we're almost at the top. There it is. See, look at that, and it's so bright so you can see everything, and you can see how big this open world game really is. It's actually insane how big this is. And now we're gonna go for our first golden question mark, which I actually do not know what is for yet, but once we get that, hopefully it's something good. It's gotta be something good. A golden question mark, and it's inside of a pyramid, so... I can't wait to find out. Ancient writing from the Old Kingdom. Oh wow, we got an ability point for that. All right, we are taking over the space. There is a tablet here, so we have another detour before we continue the hyena quest. Look at this guy. Wait a second. Another one of those. I still have yet to figure out what those are used for, and we found the tablet. Okay, rare light bow. I mean, it's not too bad. Carbon crystal. Rare sword. And last, cross her fingers. Legendary. Ah, oh. sickle sword. And there it is. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. Got herself another ability point, and we completed the location. Actually, just hyenas in here.
So this is the hyena's lair. No sign of Khalisek, though. The red was telling the truth. I need to figure out where she went. Now why would one of her loyal beasts be caged? Please, get me out! I do not want to die! Do not! Do not let her take me! Yeah, this guy is... <laughs> Alright, alright. Alright, relax. Kaati do ayu. Hat adu mercy. Thank you, Magi. The hyena. Where is she? I do not know. I am I'm the only one left. She took the others away hours ago. This trap door. What is it protecting? Heathen! The wakeful one is asleep! Go no further, or I will drench these arid plains with your blood! What is this place? A tomb beneath a tomb. Is this where you hide, hyena? What gruesome madness happened? Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. Offerings to Osiris. Protector of the dead. I think I know what Dark Deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. Once she knew the symbols, she carved them here. ...and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? The child. My child! You lost your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the Order. Ravage this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. Yeah! Now I will show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. Yeah! All right, our first boss. I can't even see her. Now this sandstorm is a huge Ooh. problem. It is very difficult to see, but luckily she has her arrows lit on fire so you can see what direction she's in and then once we get there hopefully we can do some damage but right now i mean this is a little ridiculous and she's so far away i guess i just have to keep dodging arrows and then shoot some back that's like that sounds like the best method yep we gotta hit there and then all right we're about to make contact again and it is you have infringed upon EJ's place of rest! I mean, not too bad, I guess. One hit? That's That looks like it only takes maybe like eight hits to kill her, so... We just gotta do this eight more times. <laughs> Jesus. My child will come back through the powers of those who came before. Only the gods came before! Some came between the gods and us. It is their gift. You cannot defeat me, Magi! Come and face me! No freaking way. The best to give yourself oh, there she up, is. I know your pain. You know nothing of my pain! No child would want this from their parents, Hyena! Do not speak of what my child wants! You fight like a man without passion! <laughs> No. You call yourself a magi! You 
Did it. Do I walk among the dead now? A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? These symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion. She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Duat Laema? I just want my daughter back! Find your daughter in the afterlife, Haliset. May the Lord of the Duat guide you. Let's see. Oh, we have two ability points. So, we can get Berserk now. Alright, let's go to Berserk. That finishes up episode 5 of the series. I hope you guys enjoyed. We defeated the Hyena and the next person on the list is the crocodile now the next episode is going to be very quest heavy because we do want to level up as fast as possible and we're going to cover a lot of ground so i hope you guys tune in and i'll see you guys next time